You've got to help your kids understand how to behave yeah. if you're going to have them turn up, turn up to grow up to be, you know, meaningful citizens of a democracy. Strong words from a woman who dedicated her life to changing how children's television was presented. Peggy Charon died today at the age of 86. And as WGBH News arts editor Jared Bowen tells us, she leaves behind quite a legacy. There was a time when television was an unfiltered flood, washing right into children's laps. It was, activist Peggy Sharon once said, wall-to-wall -wall monster cartoons. So in 1968, with young children at home, Sharon and a group of like-minded parents began to fight. They formed Action for Children's Television, or ACT. And they did. The broadcasters were reasonably responsive to the need to provide choice and diversity. Not all the time, and everything wasn't wonderful, but the advertisers were never responsive. They fought any regulation like you were going to put them out of business. But Sharon was undaunted and fought to have children's programming and advertising regulated. ACT took on local shows like Romper Room, in which the host directly marketed products to children. Kids learn best when they feel good about themselves, and advertising works best when you don't, when you think you're missing something, when you worry about being too poor to buy the kinds of things that mm -hmm. television sells you. Sharon moved up the chain, taking on the networks, demanding they restrict marketing and cut down on advertising. And in 1990, ACT declared victory with the passage of the Children's Television Act, which created specific standards for children's broadcasting. As Sharon later said, it was never about censorship. We, as a society in this country, are too quick, I think, to say, um, get it off the air. That, that most people who worry about media and children want to either get rid of sex, mostly the right, um, the right political part of the country wants to get rid of sex, and the, the more liberal people want to get rid of violence. But I think that um, that's never been the right tactic. Sharon, it can be argued, created a demand for children's educational programming. So as it developed at WGBH, she became an advisor and trustee helping to hone shows like Arthur, Where in the World is Carmen San Diego, and Degrassi Junior High. There was nothing educational about commercial broadcasting service to children, even in light of the new Communications Act change where it says you have to do some. They're saying that Santa Claus is coming to town is educational programming. It's not going to make kids' hair fall out, but it doesn't teach them anything. Ultimately, when it came to tuning in children's television, Peggy Sharon made certain it was finely tuned. For more on how Peggy Sharon changed children's television as we know it and beyond, I'm joined by Susan Lynn, co-founder of the National Coalition Campaign for a Commercial-Free Childhood. Susan, welcome to Greater Boston. I'm happy to be here, although it's a sad occasion. So how did you get to know uh, Peggy Sharon? Actually, I think it was Fred Rogers who first told me about Peggy. Um, I, was, I was 19 or 20 when I met him, and he was very encouraging and suggested that I go talk to her. And um, and I I did, and then I remember um, watching ACT grow and the things that mm -hmm. it was working on, and um, I I was very um, thrilled to actually have won two Action for Children's Television awards for a program I did about sexual abuse for kids. Tell me what she was like when you went to meet her and you were 19 mm -hmm. years old or 20 years old. What was she like in person? She was. Um, she was a very uh, dynamic and um, and, a, and really a straight shooter. And she was also very, very savvy politically. Um, she gave you some advice, right, on how to pursue your own agenda, terms to use, terms not to use. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about that? Yes, that was actually years later. Um, Campaign for Commercial Free Childhood um, was founded in 2000. And, um, and Peggy used to call, call us up and give us advice. Um, do ne like never use the word ban, she used to say. Um, what that, were you supposed to use instead of the word ban? Uh, you were supposed to talk around it as far as she was concerned. Mm -hmm. They ran into some trouble and acted um, in the 19, late 1980s. They had pressured the FTC to ban marketing to children and there was just this huge political uproar after that, and as we can tell now, it didn't happen.
Um, and people accused her, her critics accused her of being a censor, right? Pursuing basically a censorship agenda? Yeah, people um, accuse CCFC, my organization, of being, you know, censors as well. As well. It's not a question of, of censorship of art or, um, or television content. Um, it's a, it's a question of whether advertising is actually free speech and also whether advertising you know, to children really sh should be protected under the First Amendment. How did she feel about her legacy? We saw that one uh, clip of her toward the end of the piece that Jared did saying that essentially there was still plenty of commercialism on, uh, on kids' TV, at least in some sectors. So do you think she was satisfied with what she accomplished? I think that um, and you know, I haven't, I, I haven't talked to Peggy in years and years and years. Yeah. So, um, you know, I don't, and we never talked about that. But I, I think that um, that as as she developed, and as an activist, that that what she realized is is affecting change is really, really, really hard, and you have to take pride in the victories that you accomplish along the way. She has a lot to be proud of, um, and the reality is that the, the, the fight that she started in 1968 um, is still going on today and needs to continue. Um, marketing to children has escalated exponentially. Um, to put that in perspective, in 1983, companies were spending $100 million. Now they're spending $17 billion That's marketing to kids. So. All right. Susan Lynn, on that maybe somewhat unhappy note, thank you for being here. Sure.